Good morning, viewers. Let us pray. Eternal Father, we thank you for the joy of another day. We thank you for the joy of another week. We thank you because you have good things in store for us for this week. We thank you because you are to us a good father, a gracious father, a merciful father. And Lord, as we start our week with Jesus, with this broadcast today, we'll receive all that you have in mind for us this week, such that we will live lives that will bring glory and honor to your name. In Jesus' name, amen. And that's the Father's um, design, that's the Father's pleasure. Uh, he said in Isaiah 43, 21, These people have I formed for myself that they may show forth my praise. Okay, so it's going to be a week of revelation, a week of revelation. So there are the things the Lord will be revealing to us as we journey in the course of this week. Let's be expectant. I want us to read from the book of um, Ephesians chapter 1. I'll be reading from verse 15 to 20. Ephesians chapter 1 from verse 15 to 20. Wherefore I also, after I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and love unto all the saints, cease not to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that you may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints and what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us words who believe according to the working of his mighty power which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places. Listen, Apostle Paul was praying. These prayers are called the Pauline prayers. He was praying for believers in Ephesus. And he was saying that having heard of their faith and their conviction in Christ, he has been praying for them. And then we saw the breakdown of the prayers. He said that the Lord will give them the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him so that the eyes of their understanding may be enlightened. Why? that they may know what is the hope of their calling and what are the glorious riches of the inheritance of the saints in light. Listen, we have been called into an inheritance, but our eyes must open, our spiritual eyes must open, our minds must comprehend that inheritance. And for that to take place, we need the spirit of wisdom and revelation working in us. Shall we begin to pray? Shall we begin to pray? Let's give thanks unto the Lord because of access that we have unto His presence through the blood of Jesus. Father, we thank you for we have access, unhindered access, even into your presence by the blood. We give a praise in the name of Jesus. Can we give thanks unto the Lord for access that we have unto the Holy Spirit? He lives in us. He indwells us. He abides in us. He abides with us. Lord, we want to thank you for the gift of your Holy Spirit. Thank because he abides in us, he lives in us, he moves in us, he walks in us. Of a truth, your word says, it is God that walketh in us, both to will and to do of his good pleasure. Thank you for that. In the name of Jesus, can we give thanks unto the Lord for access that we have by the Holy Spirit unto the riches of God. Lord, want to thank you for access that we have by your Holy Spirit unto your riches, unto your wealth. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. In the name of Jesus, can we appreciate the Lord for the spirit of wisdom and revelation? spirit of wisdom and revelation that is available unto us. Lord, we want to thank you for the spirit of wisdom and revelation that is available unto us. We give you praise in the name of Jesus. Can we give thanks unto the Lord for the plan that he has specifically in store and in place for every single one of us on this broadcast. We want to thank you, Lord, for your plan, your specific plans for the journey of this week for every one of us. Lord, that plan has been in place from the foundation of the earth and we give you praise and glory in the name of Jesus. Can we tap into that plan? Can we step into that plan of God, that mind of God, that agenda of God for this week? We step into your plans for us for this week. We step into your agenda for us for this week. We walk in the revelation of your plans for us for this week in the name of Jesus. Tell the Lord you will not waver to the right. You will not waver to the left. You will not miss the mark even this week. Lord, I receive grace not to waver to the right, not to waver to the left, 
not to miss your mark, Lord, for me, for the journey of this week in the name of Jesus. So leverage on the spirit of wisdom and revelation for the journey of this week. Lord, I leverage on the help of your spirit, the spirit of wisdom and revelation in my knowledge of you. I leverage on the wisdom of the Holy Spirit, on the revelation of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. So ask the spirit of the Lord to begin to reveal things unto you, to begin to reveal the mind of God for this week unto you in specific areas, uh, past specific projects and assignments uh, and, and challenges that will come our way in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, reveal your perfect will and mind and counsel for specific issues and situations that will come my way this week in the name of Jesus. If there be challenges that you will reveal how to overcome them unto me in the name of Jesus, whatever might come my way this week, Holy Ghost, I know you have ordained and ordered them. So you reveal yourself, you reveal your mind unto me concerning those situations in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray that the Holy Ghost will show you the depths of the riches of God. He will take into new realms of the glory of God, new dimensions of the riches of your inheritance. Holy Spirit, reveal unto me new dimensions of the riches of my inheritance as a child of the Most High God this week in the name of Jesus. Ask Him to reveal depths of God, depths of God, even unto you, depths you never knew existed. Lord, depths I never knew existed, depths of grace, depths of glory, depths of power, depths of your fullness. Oh God, reveal them unto me this week in the name of Jesus. Can you ask Lord to reveal a dimension of strength and power that you have never experienced before unto you this week? Lord, reveal unto me a dimension of your strength, a dimension of your power that I've never experienced before unto me in the name of Jesus. The day David killed Goliath, that had never happened before. It was beyond David. It was just one stone that brought that giant down. That was supernatural. Ask for the walkings of the supernatural in you and through you for the journey of this week. Let there be walkings of the supernatural in me and through me for the journey of this week in the name of Jesus. So ask the Lord to show you dimensions of glory you never knew before. Lord, show me dimensions of your glory that I never knew before in the name of Jesus. Ask Him to show you dimensions of excellence that you never knew before for your career, for your journey job, for your ministry, for your pursuits, for your programs, for your projects. Lord, show me dimensions of your glory, dimensions of your excellence that I've never seen before. Lord, in my ministry, in my marriage, in my home, over my children, over their children, concerning all that pertains with me and to me, in the name of Jesus, dimensions of the glory. Ask him for new dimensions of the help of God, that the Lord will reveal dimensions of help dimensions of favor you never experienced before. Lord, reveal unto me dimensions of help, dimensions of favor that I never knew before in the name of Jesus. Uh, believe God for revelations and realms of revelations and understanding of things of God. Lord, reveal realms and dimensions of understanding, understanding of your word, understanding of your ways that I never knew before unto me in the name of Jesus. Uh, ask him to take you deeper and deeper and deeper in, in him and in his knowledge. Lord, take me deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. Lord God, in you and in my knowledge of you in the name of Jesus, the strength of a tree uh, is the strength of its roots. Uh, can you ask for your roots to be strengthened this week? Your roots in grace, uh, your roots in love, your roots in God, uh, that they be further strengthened this week. Let my roots be str further strengthened this week. My roots in grace, uh, my roots in revelation, my roots in wisdom. Let them be further strengthened this week uh, in the name of Jesus. Come against disappointments come against failures, come against calamities, come against emergencies this week. I come against calamities and disappointments and failures and emergencies this week in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Spirit of God, I silence the devil this week. Believe the Lord and leverage on the resurrection power of Christ this week. I leverage on the workings of the mighty power of the Lord that raised up Christ from the dead. Even this week in the name of Jesus, the revelation power of Christ works in me. The revelation power of Christ flows through me 
in all that I do. The revelation part of Christ uh, brings things into, into prominence, brings things into perspective concerning me in the name of Jesus. Uh, let's round up with this scripture. Let's round up with this scripture. The Bible says, now to him who is able to do immeasurably much more than all we ask or imagine according to his power that worketh in us. So this week, he will do unto you beyond your expectations. This week, he will visit you in a way and a manner that is beyond what your mind can comprehend or fathom. Be expectant as you see the glory of God. You are blessed. Have a wonderful week. See you next week. Bye-bye.